Hello there everyone, thank you so much for joining me for another video. Look, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you find yourself getting agitated or frustrated? Maybe you suffer road rage more so than other people that you know? If you do, chances are you're quite impatient. So if that sounds like you, please stick around for this video because I'm going to share with you exactly why being patient is really important for us and as a bonus if you stick through to the end i will share with you five things that you can actually do to be more patient in your life if it's your first time here a warm welcome i'm melanie weber my channel is all about helping everyday people live their life on their terms give them the flexibility to for their home and their work life to be in the balance that they want so that they can enjoy doing the things that they love. If that sounds of interest to you, then please do hit that subscribe button below and the bell notification so you can get details on how to do just that. When you think of it, is it any wonder that we have such an impatient society? Because today we really don't have to wait for anything. I mean, you can easily find out the sex of your baby before it is born. You, in, instead of having to jump on a plane or converse via snail mail, you can talk to family and friends anytime that you want via things like Skype or FaceTime. And even, even to the point that hot cross buns are now available towards the end of January. Like what, what's with that? You don't even have to wait till Easter or close to Easter to get your hot cross buns. So with that said, why is being patient so important? And this is in our home life as well as in our business life. As you know, in, in business, particularly if you're in business for yourself, it is a delayed gratification. So you, you don't reap the rewards of your work immediately. Having to be patient for something and not getting that instant gratification is also a great way to identify if something is really important or of great value to you. So just think back to the last time that you achieved something that took you a long time, whether it be achieve your uh, a university degree or buy your first home or even to marry your, your partner. You didn't get there overnight. It took a number. Of, it took some time and it took effort in order to get there. So, how did you feel once you got there? Most likely, absolutely elated and so proud of yourself that you stuck with it, that you took the time, the steps in order to get there, and you developed yourself along the way. So, rather than getting the results that you want instantly, you learn to appreciate exactly the road that you're on knowing that it is super important to you to achieve that so, that, so that is why you're more likely to stick with it. Also too, being more patient has immense health benefits for us. So if you exercise being more patient, then you are less likely to suffer health issues such as headaches, diarrhea, and even pneumonia. So if for nothing else, exercising more patience helps you health-wise. So in, pre in appreciation of you being so patient up to this point of my video, I'm going to share with you what you can do if you do find yourself getting agitated because things aren't moving as quickly as what you would like them to. So the first one you may have heard of before, and it is just simply to slowly count to 10. And the reason for that is just to slowly bring down your agitation or bring down your anger or whatever you are feeling to a more calm level so you can logically deal with the situation rather than reacting irrationally. The second one is kind of linked to, to the first of counting to 10 and it's just simply to breathe, to take deep breaths, to get that oxygen into your brain and release it gently so that again it is just bringing down your agitation to a more manageable level. The third one has immense benefits no matter what <laughs> you, you're whatever you are getting upset about, and that is just simply to exercise, to go for a five, 10 minute walk, to get your mind somewhere else, so that again, you can just bring your, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions back down to a more manageable, reasonable level. The fourth one is to daydream or to visualize a happy place. Like, so if, for example, you're sitting in traffic and you're not moving at all, Rather than sitting there thinking about how late you are and how frustrated you are, think about being at the beach or walking through a rainforest, whatever it is, wherever your happy place is, to bring down your emotions, to get you thinking about other more pleasant things to manage your emotions. And lastly, think about what 
realistically is in your control. So for example, if you have a favorite coffee shop where you go and get your coffee every single morning on the way to work, and you know that the person who makes your coffee is extremely slow and hence you run a little bit late for work, then arrive at the coffee shop earlier to make allowances for that time that they take to make your coffee. That is certainly within your realm of control and still achieves the same outcome of you getting your coffee on the way to work and actually getting to work on time. I hope these tips have been of value to you that you now understand exactly why being patient is so important to you, not just in your business life, but also to in your home life. If you have gotten value from these tips, then please do give me a thumbs up. And if you've got any other tips that you've thought that you have as to how you have become more patient in your life, I would love to hear them. So make sure you drop them down in the comments below. Thank you again for watching this video and until I see you on my next one, I hope you take the greatest of care and are patient.